Well, there are many signs of spring all across the country. Yep, the Northland, it's when the season's first ocean going vessel, you might know it as a salty, enters the port of Duluth Superior. So the Duluth Seaway Port Authority and Visit Duluth are once again teaming up for their 40th annual first ship contest. Huh. Yeah, joining us more to tell us about it live is Jason Roan with the Duluth Seaway Port Authority. Hey, thanks for being with us this morning. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. This is such a fun, interesting contest to sort of get the idea of when the first ship will, will be there. Tell us about, tell us, it's his 40th year. How does it work? So this is, Duluth Superior is North America's furthest inland seaport. And we get to celebrate our annual conquering over winter when the first salty arrives. And we've been doing it since, well, we've been doing this contest since 1984. So it's a really exciting time. It kicks off the navigation season here on the Great Lakes St. Lawrence Seaway System. And we look forward to it every year. Okay, so people are wondering, okay, if I do this contest, what's the grand prize? What do you win? Well, there's a fantastic prize package with items actually too numerous for me to mention that was put together by the team at Visit Duluth. So there's a grand prize that includes a stay here in Duluth and all kinds of attractions and dining opportunities here in Duluth. And then there are runner up prizes as well. I mean, it's good stuff. It's a hotel, it's uh, grandma's, it's the stuff to Bentleyville. It's oh, wow. too, yeah, it's too, it's all, it's a lot wow. of stuff when I saw the grand prize. So whoever wins that is going to have a great a time in Duluth. I, Jason, tell us how it works. You know, when the first salty gets there, does all the ice have to be clear? Like, how is someone going to make an educated guess here? So one way to make an educated guess is to work through the timing as it relates to how long it takes a ship to pass through. So the last lock, the gateway to Lake Superior is the Sioux locks and the Sioux locks typically open early in the morning on March 25th. So until the Sioux locks open, no ocean going vessels can get here to the port of Duluth Superior. So if you take that into consideration, it's about 25 hour sail from the Sioux locks to here. It's about a five day sail from Montreal to Duluth. So mm. then you can start doing the math. Mm. It's about eight and a half days out to the Atlantic Ocean. So you can start doing the math backward and figure when the earliest day to ship could come. But just because the locks open doesn't necessarily mean there will be a salty waiting to come in. There could be, there might not be. It might be a little later. Okay, so it's all fun and games. We're having a good time. But there's also a significant importance of that first ship coming through the Duluth Superior Port. Right, so the Port of Duluth Superior moves the raw materials of your everyday life. The typical uh, outbound cargoes from our port are iron ore, grain, coal, things like that. Typically inbound cargoes include limestone, salt, cement, um, wind cargo, heavy lift cargo, things like that. So these ships, they move the crucial raw materials of your everyday life. The salties in particular typically tend to bring in heavy lift, project cargoes, wind turbine parts, things like that, and um, sometimes cement as well. Mm. And they tend to leave most often with grain. So that's that's typically what we see on these salties hmm. that come in and out. Gotcha. And last year, the first salty came in, what, April 13th? Is that right? Yes, it was. Uh, just have to check the records. Yes, April 13th, April 13th. last year was the, the, uh, the first salty. Of course, the lake freighters, the lake traffic starts moving a little earlier than that. As soon as the Sioux locks open, the Lakers will start moving that iron ore. Okay. But the salties tend to come in just a little bit later than that. Okay. So typically any time in April is a good guess. But the earliest arrival ever was March 30th, very, very early in the morning. Mm. That was in 2013 at about 12.53 a.m. Okay. And the latest arrival on record of the first salty was May 7th, oh, and okay. that was late in the evening. So anywhere in a range from March 30 to May 7th would be the historical range. All right. It's like ice out in Lake Minnetonka. Really All is. right, Jason, thank you so much, <laughs> and thanks for sharing with us. We appreciate it. You can go to WCCO.com slash links if you want to give it a shot at the 40th annual first ship contest.